Sport Culture Podcast, and we have a special guest with us today, Zarisha. What up, what up, what up? Is that how they say your name? Zarisha. Yeah, Zarisha. I got, I got it right on the time. I didn't know how to say it. I didn't want to. People just, yeah, people just, be, if they don't know how to say it, they'll be like, I don't know how to say it. What's it again? <laughs> or they can just say Z. Yeah, a lot of people just call that? me Z. Z Z? Family calls me Z Z. <laughs> Are you Haitian? No, I'm Trinidadian. Trinidad. Trinidad. Trini to be bone. So tell us how you, how you got started in radio and like writing and all this other oh, stuff. Oh jeez. <laughs> I've been doing radio for like six years. Uh, I've been doing radio since I was like, what, 16, 17? And um, my first uh, thing was Excitement Radio. Then I went to Strong Arm. And then I started writing for PrettyHustlers.com. And you know, getting into the music. Why at 16? Like, what, like, uh, weren't you in, like, in high school or something at that time? Yeah, but it wasn't 16. I think it was 16 or 17. One of those one of those ages. But um, I had a friend or, like, an acquaintance that uh, she she asked me to host on her show because her, her um, you know, her co-host canceled on her. And I was like, okay, well, do it. And I did it, and I started taking it seriously once I booked my first interview. Were you scared, like, first time, or it just, like, just natural? No, it was a lot of dead air. I didn't know what to say on the radio. When I went on, I'm like, and then I stutter a lot. So it was just really bad, like. What did you want to do before you started radio? Like, did you have an idea what you wanted to do? I wanted to be a crime scene investigator. Wow, that's so different. Super. <laughs> Super. Or you could have been. Or FBI like agent or a cop. Chill one. I didn't know. You get that from her, like a no. yeah. But most girls end up in the criminal field, field. anyway. Yeah. True, yeah. true, true. So yeah. Were, you, were in love with hip hop before, like doing it? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I became in love with hip hop probably when I started working for Strong Arm and I started being around hip hop even more, and then I started meeting people in the industry. That's what really got me, like the feel of it, like just meeting people that actually make things happen like open my eyes like how much to it there is so it just made me like you know i thought you asked her something totally different i thought you asked her um were you in love in hip-hop the show i mean she could probably and I was like, no <laughs> you know i watch it i watch it though I but no I, really know. I don't i don't um no 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 what if they call you from miami I, would you I, do it? I really don't know that's a lot of exposure though yeah but then it's, i feel like too. no offense to anybody in love and hip hop, but I just feel like just from my brand per, per se, like I'm not big enough for it to 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 venture out on any other platform if I do love and hip hop. I think my career will just stay stagnant in reality. So you TV. feel like everybody will just oh that's the girl from reality TV. Yeah, and you'll just stay first of all, not only is it just a reality show, this is a reality show on VH one. Now it'll be different if I was on E or we or All shit TV. maybe bravo yeah but this is vh1 no for land of the ratchets <laughs> no no offense of anybody on the show i feel like their platform is big enough for them to go on and venture off to other things sure. however i'm at like what 20k like you feel me i'm the, young as hell <laughs> you know 22 like you feel me that's it like it's just be like what, would you, what direction would you go what would be your storyline if you if you were to do it like day in your life mm. i mean i'm the music director for the station so uh, probably so my life probably just you know so trying some, to figure it out be some a woman. people that you don't like you just don't play their music i mean we only play good music on the station anyway so <laughs> i mean you know just if if people like it i love it at the end of the day like we here for what the people want to listen to and you know if the people like that crap sometimes you know <laughs> depending on if i like it or not it's not my decision because i'm not i'm not running my station from my point of view i gotta run it to the listener's point of view you Caring know to the listener hell yeah you have to because you know i'm gonna yeah. lose listeners because i want to play <laughs> the weekend and party's door yeah. <laughs> i mean no <laughs> that would be like I a crazy you, honestly. yeah some people but you know 
You ever saw that meme where they they look, it's like a guy looking out the window and it oh, says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I angst it out and be like, you know, wait for your ghetto friends to leave um, so you can listen to The Weeknd yeah. instead of like, <laughs> to like Hannah Montana. With the, uh, with the cartoon version of The Simpsons or something? I no, it was, it was, it? no it was like, it was just like a, a regular guy uh -oh. just looking out his window, uh -oh. his blind. So I talk to us that. about the radio station. How, what, how does it work and what's like the... What is the main, what do you guys do, like talk radio, music? Well, well Strong Arm Radio is actually um, Flo Rider's official radio station. So basically we have like Flo Rider songs and you know a lot of his fans listen to the station. A lot of people, uh, a lot of Baby Soldier fans listen to the station because we do also, um, he's part of IMG. So um, definitely those songs do get into rotation and stuff like that. And they, you know, those listeners are there for them so we actually you know have like dedicated sessions where we just you know put you know put them on a board and stuff like that and also Get some play and spin. yeah i mean i mean like it's already in the system mm -hmm. you know it's just the fact that you know there's certain times where you know flows fans would just tune in there's certain times where you know soldiers fans would tune in so we'll just make sure we you know clip it there you know we have many shows on there you know, we have a Midday Mayhem show. We have, um, um, you know, we have Legal Muscle, which is um, run by um, Mathis. Um, we have, um, you know, we have a lawyer show, another lawyer show called First of All. And then we have a sex talk show at nighttime on the Wednesdays. I'm not even tuning in. It's, it's really, it's really cool. You guys should even um, c c come on, come on one day. Um, it's on Wednesdays, and then on Wednesday, like Wednesdays, we have um, Voice of the Streets, where independent artists get to send their music, and we play right through. We'll see what, well, you know, if we like it, if we don't like it, we have some critiques. You know, oh, sometimes okay. we we find like you know a diamond in the rough. You know, sometimes we fit, we we see a song, we're like, damn, what's that? And so then we actually play it. Yeah, and then we actually put it on the the list if it's that good. And then you guys tell them like give them feedback. I mean, if the, if at the end of the day, it's like you gotta do your part. Like, so if you're just sending your music and not tuning in, more like more than likely you won't know. But if you send your music, you tune in, and we're like, damn, yeah, like this play. Usually, a lot of people tune in. They they call up the station, and you know, so it's. Just I wanted to talk about. Um, do you still feed the homeless on Sundays? Sometimes, sometimes I don't have the time, but sometimes, yeah, I do. What makes you like? What made you start doing that? Like, why do you like? Just fortunate. Just, I'm just fortunate, you know, like at the end of the day, you don't want to see people like that. Like, I don't want to see people like that. And it's like, at the end of the day, it's not even like what made me want to do it. I just wanted to do it. I didn't I respect it. that. It's not something that I'd be like, oh my God, like I, something happened and I wanted to, no, just people Cause when some, i see people in need i just be wanting to do something about it yeah because some people be like i can't afford to do that right now because i don't got it myself or my life is not straight right now i have to wait till i get rich and then when they get rich they don't even do it yeah it's true though when you do get rich you don't even think about that more money more problems sometimes i guess but, but i guess you got more fun more stuff on your plate when you get them get to that level so yeah, yeah then you got more money so you don't want to do anything for nobody you had everybody else you got to take care of a lot of people when you get to that point anyway like yeah, you know did you hear how much money cardi b spends on her family yeah you know how many you know did you hear how much money cardi b spends on herself so, a month yeah yeah <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah i was just like that's crazy i wonder dot, 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 dot. <laughs> yeah because i just i don't know but then again i can't you know at the end of the day the things cost bread yeah. you know like even just as a female like not as cardi b but you know, Cardi B's um, fingers cost like a hundred, two hundred dollars. You know, probably, fingernails. Yeah. That's that's probably four hundred dollars a month. Cause maybe and or if she does it every couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a regular female now. This is like maybe I'll say forty. So this is forty. That's forty every two weeks. Got the toes. Twenty-seven. It's every two weeks. Eyelashes. That shit going about like a hundred dollars every two weeks for you guys. Expensive, man. Eyelashes is a hundred dollars. Oh, it's if, so. If you well, not these. These are falsies, so you know. But when I used to have the little individuals, that's a hundred dollars. Refills are sixty. Sometimes they're two hundred dollars, depending on how thick you get them. So it's just like waxing is fifty. If you get a little strip, you know, the the little hair that we got like right here, that's sixty. So you know, all of that we got sixty dollars in total for getting a wax 
And what else you got? Because I see online, like, they're like, if I'm with a man, the man, you feel me, he wants me to look nice. So they got to come out, like, what, $500 a couple, every two weeks? For what? To make sure she look good. Oh, with the his hair, girl. The nails, yeah. I think they talking about the guy stuff. What he had to do? Is that is that like five hundred dollars is a is a good amount like? Cause I know y'all hair alone is half of that. I mean, not my hair. I mean, so like you know, times are changing now. You know, girls got um curls now, so you know, That's in way. beauty products is like well, I'm about to go straight. Like I, I don't know about that curly curly shit. Not Before right you now. Got here, she asked me if um. I had a wig on. Yeah. Wait, that's how we doing it. You these gotta days? ask these questions <laughs> these days. I'm paranoid. It's like you got like these perfect curls. You know, they just laying on your head. You, you know, know it's funny. I've seen no with edges. That for like a few years now, you feel me? Like we've seen chicks with wigs, and like till like last year, I didn't know what a wig was. Like for real, for real. Oh, you know what a wig was? I knew what it was, but you feel me? Until you see a female take it off her head. Yeah. Can you imagine? You like, can't really tell. You hear what me male saying? He don't fuck a wig because. Uh, when he was fucking girl from the back. That shit fell off? Yeah, he ripped off her head. Yeah, that shit is like... Guys shouldn't care, though. You feel? That's what I'm care. saying. That's girl shouldn't care. Girl shouldn't care. Girl shouldn't care. Girl shouldn't care. care. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't get me if wrong. I got, if I got a toy lane. This age? <laughs> of course I would care. However, I saw that... Oh, you saw the meme with the old guy. He turned into Zaddy real quick. I'm not going to lie. If that was my husband and you losing your looks and you doing what you got to do to stay on point, I'm not going to be mad yeah. because I'm going to do what I got to do to stay on point too. I'm so going to be fraudulent. Just Who's like I said, crazy? don't let me see that shit. I don't want to see that shit lifting. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that shit is on point. No. Like, off when you get home. Yes, daddy. Oh, like, don't, right. no, not even like fucking make, it right. make sure that shit don't lift. Like, yeah. I need you to go to the barber. Every week, <laughs> you know, like I need, I need something to shake. Yeah, so on. that's why I can't say nothing bad about it. However, at this age, no, I'm not dating a guy that wears weave. You know, maybe when I get married, older, and my husband, I'm with that nigga. Then yeah. I won't mind. You yeah. know, like yeah. he lost, he's losing his looks. He's mm -hmm. keeping the wind blows, the hair start coming out. She's like, oh, so yeah. How is that a double standard? Because like I, at the end of the day, guys don't really have to. Do that much to to get a woman. I mean, eventually, you if get you have older, bread, so half the work is done. That's true. <laughs> oh, so you yeah. think it's money driven? This is Miami, okay? If you have bread, half of that shit is done. You don't need looks. Women want security. <laughs> women want protection. Mm -hmm. You know, so women want a provider. From security and protection. And all no, that. no, no. You know, crisis happen. I, babe, I got it. Don't worry about it. All the girl want to know is like she don't gotta worry because the girl got a lot of stuff on her plate. Not that a man doesn't. Uh -huh. Man got a lot of stuff on their shoulders. However, women do too. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's okay. You know, like at the end of the day, you need that maybe that check, maybe that knowledge, maybe that money saving. Cause you know some guys don't know how to save their money either. That ends up to a lot of divorces. Yeah, that's the number one thing for divorces. Actually, yes. Money. So it's not even about like having it. It's like, can you? Are you responsible, my nigga? Like, I don't want to no irresponsible guy. I'm irresponsible. <laughs> you know, so what's, you your, what's your type for a dude, like the typical? She think guys are distractions. Guys are distractions. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can say, say that. I can Why say do you think guys are distractions? They just... Well, me personally, guys are distractions to me. Because when I'm with a man, if I got something to do... Like, you rather lay up? I rather lay up. <laughs> <laughs> I rather do ways, stuff though. with him. Like, That's I rather... Yeah, but like for me, like sometimes it can be a distraction. Now, I feel like you gotta learn how to monitor or just like keep a balance. Or just yeah. date somebody who's just as busy as you. So that don't work. Cause don't when y'all have the time, or they, sometimes when you date somebody, together. not even bullshitting together. Usually, like at the end of the day, guys know when to 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 do shit. You know, guys don't want to be like, okay, like it's my time to sit here and blah blah blah. I'll do this, blah blah blah. Girls now, well, I don't know about other girls, but me, if I'm late out with my dude, like sometimes you you could be busy all you want, but usually you're gonna be at his place sometimes the times that he's not busy. So you you gotta like I kind of compromise myself with that like because <clears throat> when two people are busy y'all never really free on the same time yeah so it's like somebody gotta let something go yeah. to spend some time sure so it's it's so it's a distraction sacrifices that's what you gotta decide pretty much. Well, I'm working on that. Before, I used to make a lot of sacrifices. However, I just got out of something. And um, 
I just got out of something. So I'm just like that sacrifice and shit ain't happening. Baby. Like <laughs> Damn, you feel so me? I'm 23. I'm trying to heart? get it. You said what? How you broke your heart? <clears throat> he had a girlfriend for three years and I didn't know about it. So he was dating. And we were He had a girlfriend. We were dating, like title without a title, I heard but a story don't like talk that to nobody I else. But um, I heard somebody say something like that, and she was like, "Oh, the girl we interviewed." I think she said that she had uh, the guy had a boyfriend that she thought she was the one, but the guy had a boyfriend. No, the that's worse. The guy had a girlfriend. <laughs> sorry, no. the guy had a girlfriend, and she thought she was the one, but she the guy was dating another yeah. girl for like three, like something like. I thought story. I was the one too. Maybe, maybe, we, maybe we, we, we same maybe nigga. the same nigga, same <laughs> nigga, same nigga. Maybe we fuck with the same nigga. So what is your type as far as like what you want for next? She likes those. <laughs> <laughs> I like Haitian. You know Haitian men don't cheat. He was Haitian, so you're a damn right. <sighs> so yeah, did you catch him cheating though? Do you have proof? That was the and that's why it lasted for so long because I couldn't catch him. <laughs> so how do you catch him? The, the girl had to call me on my radio show. <laughs> this was really embarrassing. She's blowing up my phone on my cell phone while I'm working, you know, and I have to literally leave, you know, everybody talking to answer this phone to realize that. Talk to you as a woman. Talk, came to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I, I, I literally got to hear him say that I wasn't shit to him Damn. on air, uh, not on air, but like on three way because he had to play to her. She, she, she was like, let's go on three way because yeah. I need to prove to you that. Yeah, but what if he was just saying that this? Uh, no, no, no. I think when, when he when, when when he got caught, like he hung up the phone. So this shit was like really bad. Like it was, it was, it was really painful for me to um go through. You know, we had a topic about um. I asked him about somebody. I'm gonna ask you too. Mm -hmm. Who do men love more, the women they're lying to or the women they tell the truth to? Damn, she stopped. I don't fucking know no more. I got my heart broken. I know shit about niggas. I thought I did, but <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> I won't know. Yo, you, you guys tell me. What do you think? What do I think? Yes. Your point of view right now. Okay, well, me say. from my point of view, I would think the people that. You lie to only because, like, I mean, guys that I'm straight up honest to a lot, like, straight up, like, yo, like, really blunt to, I really don't care about that much until I start caring, but then again, I'm still a straight up person. I don't know. I don't really know. But I think, you guys tell me. You I guys, think guys. If, if I'm lying to a few, I feel like I'd rather tell 80% of the truth. If I, if I tell 80% of the That's still a truth, lie, my brother. Nah, but everybody lied. It's still a me? lie. It's not a lie. It is. How much truth y'all be telling? Well, I tell ninety percent too, but I'm just saying that's still the, that's still a lie. Cause you can't tell everything though. You can. You I'm not me? saying that you you should. You know, it definitely fucks up a relationship. Every every good relationship has nice secrets. I feel like as good long secrets. as it's nothing like you feel me. Let's get thrown back in your you face. You can't look me in the Ooh. eye and tell me and like you feel me like that. Or just make that a secret. Just don't cross me. Keep that me. a secret. Meaning, don't like, me. don't make that shit come to light. Cause if it come to light. That's it. Nah, so if like, you in the back of your head knew that your guy was cheating, but he embarrassed you and come to light, would you still? Now, if he was taking care of me, we got kids, we got a house. Hell no, I ain't no shit. I don't know what you talk about. I'm fucking a pool boy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I can't do that. You feel me? That's why for me, if if you gonna lie, it yeah. has to be like it can't be like I'm crossing you. I'm I'm like. You feel me? Being like a bad. Yeah, it don't be a bad person, but you feel me? If I'm a if, if you cheat. Make it like a thing where it's like, damn, I fucked up. But don't be like, just don't turn it around to make it like a... You say that now, but you'll be surprised. Like, a lot of things come up in life. And, you know, a lot of actions that we do is not because we are bad people. It's more of so that we were being selfish yeah. at the time. So yeah. it's not even more of like, but as long as I'm a bad wrong, person. So yeah, so it's like me personally, I would, I would like... To me, all I need is somebody to be straight up. Somebody to sit there and just own up to their shit and say the right way and not how TV programs us to apologize. Let me know what the fuck is up. If you were feeling selfish at the time and you didn't want to yeah, tell that's, me, that's... let me know. But don't try to follow how we're programmed to, to, to deal with these situations and be like, oh my God, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, and do the same shit back or not give me a straight up answer. Let me know what you were feeling. Yeah, but let me know wh <laughs> why this happened so I won't be stuck on stupid with the next nigga. Yeah. You know, like... You know what you want, the whole nine yards? Like how he was doing I'm understanding 80%. enough to, to take that. Some girls can't take that. Some girls, you, you, you can't really tell them the truth. 
You know, I'm more of like I'm more logical when it comes to that. Like it's yeah, more like people say that though, but then when they hear it, they're like, I mean, it's no, it hurts too. You feel me? But you gotta let me know, cause I'm sitting there, you know, with my stomach queasy, telling you to chew. You better tell me to chew too. Yeah. You feel me? So going back to radio, mm -hmm. people say like Broward artists don't get represented by the radio. How do you feel about like people? Upcoming artists are just people in Broward. Not just Broward didn't that Miami. guy? Ain't that guy from Broward? Uh, the one that just did the song from um, with Kanye West. All to do with the dress. Yeah. I do not know. He's from here, so I mean, a lot of. I think it's YM something. Yeah, YMB or some shit like that. But he, I oh, think, um, Melly, Melly something. Like yeah. Some, but he yeah. had a good song. I want banger is hard. It's like. It's like he locked, locked up right, right now. Mind, that shit he locked up right now. Yeah, he locked up right now. I think. Or, yeah. he, or he got out now. I think. I hope he's out. He was. He was. He 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 did a good 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 song. So how do you feel about that? Like that persona persona of like. I don't believe it. If you're good, you're good. There's a lot of people, and I don't really feel like that because I feel like a lot of people has popped off in Miami these past few years like since 2018 we had the city girls we had ball greasy now and then we had a um little vh1 love and hip-hop miami all these little artists actually they literally took the artists that were actually popping because i feel i personally feel like artists say oh i don't get no da -da -da -da. but actually all these people that i see on tv were the people at whoop, were the people at the events you feel me? At the industry events or at the music events that these niggas is complaining about not being seen and heard are not at. <laughs> you feel me? They didn't want to do the legwork. They don't want to send no emails. They don't want to be organized with their shit. And they want to complain that we don't see them. Yeah, or they want to wanna, say that. Yeah, um, or they want to be because don't they're trying to compare this where we at, where we live at to ATL. Because in ATL, they more, I'm not going to say they give out handouts more, but they work with you more. They put you on kind of more than niggas want to look at ATL. However, ATL is 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 the place where all these rapper rappers getting shot up though. At the end of the day, we don't shoot our our our, our kind. You feel me? Like if we see you working, we we seen Ball Greasy work for years. Iceberg too. But who we show love to? Trina years. She's still relevant in her town. Trick Daddy, all these niggas Probably. relevant, and they they could go out and have fun and and make money, but at the end of the day, no matter where they at, no matter what they do, they city got their back because we see the grind for years. So it's like these artists not sitting there trying to grind for years. They want to get up like Lil Uzi and be like, oh my God, I did it for a year. No, like oh. everybody's different. You feel me? And everybody's different. Uzi's from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Of course she's gonna pop. <laughs> you know, like. Ain't no, like, I know there's, there's black people, you know, like, Philly or whatever, but that's, like, a place where, like, not a lot, you know, of course he gonna pop over there. This is Miami. This is, this is, this is land of the, the, the swaggerific. I'm gonna touch on a couple of topics. Um, I wanted to get a female's point of view about the R. Kelly situation. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I mean, for the most part, this is I think he has a like tour coming up. In the future. Huh? Yeah, tour coming up, so I feel like I want to see how much people actually like sell out the arena. Could, can you? Can I was you, never a R. Kelly you, person. Right, you well, what's your point of view from what the girls are saying? I know you seen the documentary. <laughs> I'm saying, okay, I personally feel like they know what they're doing. Yes, you were naive. I've been naive too, you know. But on that shit, if Chris Brown came to me at a freshman, 14 years old. Like, babe, I want to make you blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, huh? Yeah. But he's okay. wrong, though. Daddy. Daddy. Bless you. But he's wrong, though, ain't it? He's wrong. The only thing he's wrong if in he's doing is messing point. with these girls and knowing that it's a law. Because everywhere else in the world, you know, people. I ain't even going to. Arranged <laughs> marriages. Not even arrangement. Everywhere else in the world, like, age is not a huge issue like that. Like, even in like certain parts of, like of different places you could sit there and you could be a teenager dating like a nigga 20 something years old he would sit there marry you and make sure you're good for the rest of your life yeah. you know like shit like that so it's not yeah he might be sick because of all the other things leading up to it like him being molested and stuff like that yes however i personally feel like the only thing he's done wrong is you know have sex with these girls and um, knowing that they're underage yeah. and 
actively only dating them but you see a lot of men go for it. a lot of okay a lot of guys that have power that likes that ego thing goes for the week ain't like he was dating like like the the 14 15 year old that had it going on the cheerleader yeah. he chose who he was wanted to mess with knowing how weak they were like predatorial predatorial yeah. what does that tell you it's so he problem. knew that you you ain't have you ain't getting no love like that. He know that you not you know no niggas really hollering yeah. at you that much. You know. They boost their ego. Boost their ego. I want to know what their parents were saying because my daddy was like ain't no parent. Allowing, allowing. You're fourteen years old. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're fourteen years old. It's not like you 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 in college and you decided like oh no this is my boyfriend. Nah, you fourteen. You still legit. No matter what you say, that team don't do nothing to you. Even putting a two in front of your number don't do nothing to you. Cause I know, if, I know if Beyonce came or Shanti, you feel me? When I was in like sophomore high school, that gotta get to that gotta get killed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shit, I wanted to fuck someone with the teachers, dude. Oh my, see that too. Like it's some teachers, like Should people would have been like, damn, he fine. But <laughs> it's like at the end of the day, you gotta make that decision on whether or not you wanna act on it. However, both participants. You know, I was like, yeah, it's like, why are you crying now, bitch? <laughs> why are you crying now? You wasn't crying when... He had you out there. Yeah, you wasn't crying when you went back the first and the second and the third uh, yeah. time knowing that he wanted more from you than to be... You know, now you just feel stupid because you wasn't the only one. Yeah. You feel stupid that everybody's seeing this shit now and saying some shit about it. True. Do you feel like these are sensitive times now? Because, like, as soon as somebody put out Chris Brown raped the girl everybody oh he did it he did it and then to find out later that the girl is lying the whole time there's a lot of cases like that though there's a lot of cases like even that the girl that that wanted to, to jump on the train that usher gave him her herpes was a lie you feel it's me crazy. She i shouldn't even fuck her you feel <laughs> me? What? With a press that's what i'm saying so it's just like yeah, but it's making it hard for guys to even want to do or post girls now, do anything with girls, because not everything a guy does or try to do, don't get me wrong, wrong is wrong, but like, if a guy is just talking to you and, oh, and he turns you down or disrespects you, you don't go around and say, he did this to me, he raped me, he touched me, you know, so it's like, mm -hmm. and then the guy automatically is going to get criticized, and mm -hmm. especially if he's a celebrity, he already got a light on him, so now you put a bigger light on him and now uh, he has to go spend night in jail for what? That's why niggas lying on their dick, saying like fucking up girls' reputation, talking about they 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 fucked her, making girls get disrespected at the end of the day. That's fine, shit. He, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. People do that. Man. The game is doing that. It's on. Yeah, but I'm saying people do that. Like it's not like it's just a one way street. Like guys do it to girls too. No, it's not right at all. <laughs> like you feel me? That's lame on both sides. You know, like. And then there was like a there was like the Bow Wow situation in the Super Bowl. How do you feel about like a, if if a dude is getting hit by a female? Do you feel like the the dude should always stay down, or is there some point where like you gotta protect yourself? Cause he had scratches all over his face. He should have just pushed the fuck out of her. Yeah, that push could have turned into a mush, and then oh yeah, yeah, she could have died. Her. Cause she gonna hit her head on something out there. Yeah, I mean, she... if a girl feels that comfortable to hit you, y'all shouldn't be together. Like, I mean, unless you hitting her back and y'all y'all got that type of relationship. Now that is right, but some people got that type of relationship. So, like, you know, if unless you got that type of relationship where you put your hands on her, she put her hands on you, and y'all y'all that crazy together, y'all crazy in love. <laughs> like, that's the only because that's what happened to Rihanna and Chris. Yeah. So, like, they both was scrapping for real. You feel me? Boy. When they still loved each other, you feel me? The only I feel like the only reason is probably the media and the press, and that would have down OD'd both their careers. He OD'd it the last time, the last. Yeah, time. and it was, was really bad. Yeah. yeah, so it's just at the end of the day. See, I, see, it's them white skin niggas. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I do, y'all. Like, anyway, just kidding. Um, no, for real. But um, <laughs> but like he did have like all these. I don't think they're gonna fresh charge. But he's so girl. small, like yeah, yeah. he need date somebody his size or smaller, like so he could just be like. Yeah, cause I know if I try to, I like dating big guys. So if I, you know, try to punch, they can just. But like, all it takes, is like, 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 all it takes <laughs> is like a little scratch, and he a woman beater. He gonna do at least probation, like that shit is scary for a dude. Like for me personally, 
I hope I never get in that situation because it's off a reflex. That's you know? why you got to make that decision on do you want to, mind you, this is not the first time. Yeah. A woman does try you and see if she can really put her hands on you. Some woman, you know, this is your, your, um, it's your, your choice to whether you want, whether you want to nip that in the butt or not. That whole situation looked like he wasn't nipping nothing in the butt. Yeah, that feel me? That scratches time. all. Yeah, nobody's going to scratch you like that the first time. This is Tuck probably the 10th yeah. time they done yeah. scrapped. You that feel me? Crazy. And she know he wasn't going to do anything. Cause that's the only time a woman would sit there and fuck you up like that is because she know you ain't going to do anything. Yeah, in public. And then you got clown. What like. you mean in public? They, don't they live together? I, I don't know. If he was beating her ass, like, it would have been like, bitch. But it's funny because oh, yeah, he's right, right. like, oh, you let a woman beat your ass? Like, you would. But it's like, damn, what is he supposed to do? Nothing. Mm -hmm. He can't do anything. It could, he like, I mean, he's not even the top of the... The, the the chain right now when it comes to, to, to celebrities, you really want him to down his career even more? Yeah, that shit is so crazy. you call him like a B list or C list? Yeah, he's a, he's no, a legend, I mean, he I think, yeah, legend. he's a legend. He's I mean, he the started first, like 15, not even 10, the first, because you had Criss Cross. But this, <clears throat> besides Criss Cross, because I feel like Criss Cross probably had like one major song you know like Justin bow Bieber, wow like yeah like that was like the first justin <laughs> bieber plus he was black romeo. plus he had all romeo came after nah, bow wow and on top of that romeo is masterpiece so now don't even count he's bow a son of a celebrity bow wow was selling out arenas bro at like 13. and he made a dance <laughs> you know like who made it like bow was a legend just so like, he's just so not so a top line, right so now boy wasn't the first one made a dance was bow wow yeah. I mean, there was dances throughout the 90s, too. For me. Yeah. Like what? I don't know. But All we had was an electric slide. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> what? Well, we didn't have no dance. But you had, like, the group dances, like the yeah, group Jackson dances and stuff like that. But you had no, like, do the... Oh, I mean, probably in the 60s, like, do the, the chicken. Yeah. Chicken? No, they had the robot, remember? Oh, the robot. <laughs> moonwalk, I guess. Oh, yeah, moonwalk, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, I mean, no, but... Uh, oh, you're right. I guess. Nah, he a legend. He a legend. He but he's just not the top of the food chain right now. That's okay. But, I mean, he still get money, but off of other shit. You yeah. know, I'm not going to a Bow Wow concert. His raps kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to Let Me Hold You, though. Let me tell you, that, that was the last right. album that, that did <laughs> numbers. When I tell you, when Omarion <laughs> linked up with Bow Wow and they made that, I got that shit for Christmas on the, the what, what is it? The Secret Santa. So I get that for me for Christmas. Yeah, I was playing that, that shit that, all day. That was a classic. He's a legend, guys. That was his last, that was his last great record for me. I don't know anything beyond that, but I know all the songs on that one. Girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> Face Off, that was actually the name of the album. I fuck with it, you know? Yeah, he's a legend. Questions? Yeah, um, for Valentine's Day coming up, what's your typical, like, what, what's your typical Valentine's Day if you were in a relationship? If I was in a relationship? Or yeah. dating, you feel me? Or dating. First if I was time dating. Date. What's going to get you right on that first night? What's going to get you right? What's going to get me right? Well, what are you, what's going to get them the draws or what's just going to get me like get right? Both. Oh, both? Okay. So, this is what. I don't know, like, it's okay, <laughs> this is this is what really gives me nice butterflies, right? It's a whole evening. It's like certain key things, right? So, he picked me up, and he opened my door. You really care about that stuff? I love that shit. Okay, okay. Open your Flowers, door. Okay. I love that shit. Open my door, like, I like to feel like a princess. Okay. I like to feel like... Like I'm the I'm the baby, ain't nothing can happen to me. Like you know, you baby girl, you know I like that shit. So you know, open my door, you know, treat me like a true. I like gentlemen, like that's what I like. I like clean cut men, but like they still hood hood, like they still like hood on the inside. But I like that, you know, they open their door, you know, and I got the flowers. Then the day I love food, so it gotta be some good food, not some bougie shit that I. That's nasty. Some expensive great trash. Food. Yeah. yeah, not expensive trash, but you know, <laughs> some something good. Like really, do your research on these restaurants, and then, you know, maybe like depending on who it is. You know, if the long relationship. So if it's someone I've been dating a while, and they 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 take me back home and stuff. Like I want like you know a little mood lights, you know, little candlelits, and I want some weekend plans. Oh, I some, see my shit. Okay. I see some, 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 some whipped cream. Not even whipped cream. That shit. 
<laughs> nasty. Like, whipped cream is not where it's at when it comes to sexual. Yeah, I heard you get yeast or something like that. Yeast. Not even that. Like, it's just not good. Like, just depending on how freaky you are, that's that's dead. Honey, though. Honey's good. Honey, that shit's slippery. Honey. Honey's sticky. It's slippery. It's sticky. You know, we were just talking about um, on our last um, episode that we're about to drop tomorrow. Uh, we were just talking about uh, guys eating ass. And girls eating guys' ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. So, is that something you're into? I'm not gonna. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yes. Um, probably for my husband, you know. So, you never did it before? No. <laughs> A lot of the people. No. <laughs> no, I ain't do that before, but. um. Was you, did someone ever do to you? I'm really self-conscious when it comes to down there, really, you know, like... So if someone was to get down there, you'd be like, hey, watch out. Mm -mm, it depends. I'm, I'm really down for a lot when it comes to somebody I really mess with. So, when I really mess with the person, you know, anything flies. Do you feel like in our times, that's like, like, that's like a must now? Like how girls be like, no. the guy gotta eat pussy, he gotta do no. this. No, 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 I don't feel like there's anything specific. At the end of the day, you like what you like, better know what you like. And then, you know, there's other people in this world that like the same things. You feel me? Can you force your, no. your, your guy? Your, your I don't recommend it. I don't recommend forcing but anything if that's you what don't you want to be. Though, you know, aren't you supposed to please that person? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. You supposed to you supposed to let it be know what you want like first months. If they don't like certain shit, you can't sit there and try to force them. I feel like that like unless they want to sit there and try it themselves. But yeah, you can't. I do it. Yeah, it's it's, too, it's I like two even different feel sexual energies. Trying to make you do something you don't want to do. Cause some then at that point, it kind of turned me off. Some people like passion. Some people like rough. You feel me? Some people like both. Like at the end of the day, like. Somebody could be okay with uh, a nigga spitting in their mouth. Peeing on them. And peeing on them. And other girls would be like, hell no. You feel me? Like, other girls would like... Other girls could, couldn't, couldn't endure hair pulling, you know? Other bitches can't. You know, like, it's just... You like what you like. I don't recommend no one to do stuff that they don't like just to please the other person. Take it from me. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> well, where can everybody find you? Where can everybody listen to you? And where can everybody read your stuff? Um, well, you can read my stuff, Beauty to Tuesdays, on prettyhustlers.com. And you can check me out on my morning show, Z's Morning Show. Check me out on Voice of the Streets, where you guys send in the music and we listen to it. And you can check me out on the Kickback on Fridays on Strong Arm Radio. Um, you can download the app or, you know, Definitely follow me on Instagram at Zerisha, Z-U-R-I-S-H-A, and Google me for anything else. That's what's up. We appreciate having you. Appreciate you guys having well, me. Culture. Culture.